Hey everyone, Clint Louie coming to us today with five minutes from friendship. We got to deal with the indoctrination of our children. There is an indoctrination taking place in America for the hearts and the minds of my children and your children. So what do you mean? Well, I want to show you a clip here. So bear with me, watch this clip, and then we'll talk about it and a few other things in just a moment. Hey, Blue, look at all these families. Hi, families. It's time for a pride parade. Families marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. Families marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. This family has two mommies. They love each other so proudly. And they all go marching in the big parade. Is that not staggering? I mean, a little children's show, Blue's Clues. I remember when my kids were, were smaller, they loved Blue's Clues. And it's not just that one program, it's everywhere. The indoctrination, teaching our children to accept a design that is different than God's design. God's design for marriage, for family, for the cornerstone of society is one man and one woman, a male and a female, coming together in marriage and bearing and raising children. But at the indoctrination taking place is saying, we don't need God's design. We can accept anything. After all, love is love is love. But that's not true. You see, there is such a thing as lust. You know, there's another example too, just talking about the indoctrination. This is from a school, and I'm reading. I'm just reading to you a little bit of an article here. Uh, from uh, This says, some parents from a ritzy New York City private school are fuming mad after learning first graders were learning about masturbation and also that the children were told their parents and grandparents should not touch them, like a hug, a kiss, you know, natural family affection, that they should not touch them without their consent. Now, what are, we, what are we getting from this? There is an indoctrination taking place in our land. My wife and I and the kids were at a local store recently and saw a, a display of, a, of just candy. And it was all themed around Pride Month and all this type of thing. And it was just candy, you know, designed to attract you and designed to attract children. Listen, now is the time for Christian people to discover again God's design and to speak about God's design from the Word of God. Mom and Daddy, you, are, you must have these conversations with your children. We must share this truth, and we must teach it from the Bible with our children. We must show them from God's Word. The Bible says in Matthew 19, the Lord Jesus said, Have ye not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female. You see, there's God's design. God made the genders. He made you male or he made you female. You're not in the wrong body. God's design, male and female. You don't change genders. Oh, no, no. And Jesus went on and said, For this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and they twain shall be one flesh. Wherefore, they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. God's design is for male and female. And so our world is attempting to indoctrinate our children, but you, you mom and dad, must be the umbrella over your children, sheltering them from all the evil faults that are raining down upon them. I know it's a tough subject, but let's band together as churches and let's stand strong in the Lord and in God's design. This is Clint Louie. God bless you.